In addition to making me old and gray, this business has also made me a liar. A couple weeks ago, I made a statement that I don't like to rip into other people's business models. You know, they do what they do, we do what we do, and they're not good or bad, they're, they're just different. But I came across a business practice again last week that, uh, well, in my opinion, deserves to be ripped. So, so here's what happens. You're the listing agent. Um, an offer comes in from another agent from another company, because I know our agents would never do anything like this. And as part of the offer, there's a paragraph written in there where the other uh, agent says that they will waive the right to their MLS payout. You know, if you're paying out you know, 2.7 or 3.3%, you know, it doesn't make any difference. They're going to waive their right to that commission. Cool. But the uncool part is that uh, in this paragraph, they also say that the seller agrees to pay them X amount of uh, commission directly. And I'll guarantee you that this dollar amount is greater than what your payout is. So what they're doing is holding your seller ransom for more money. And it's legal, but it's, it's, it's greedy. You know, it's just in my mind, it just stinks for an agent to, um, you know, go asking for more money than what you're paying out. And it's just, it crosses so many lines that uh, I don't have enough time here to cross all those lines. So what happens? Your seller's bottom line has been affected. You know, the other agent's taking another chunk out of it. And because of the way it's worded, uh, invariably, your seller is gonna look at you and say, well, fine with me if I'll, you know, I'll pay him a higher commission, but your commission just went down. And you, you can't let that happen. You know, everyone works hard for their money and just because the other uh, agent's greedy doesn't mean that you should lose money on this. So what I recommend you do is um, talk with your seller and let them know that you know you got a contract with him saying that he still agrees to pay you you know let's say you know five percent and that's that's a contract now if he wants to you know honor that five percent and still pay out whatever the other agent the greedy agent is asking for you know let's say three and a half percent you know your seller owes a, a total of eight and a half percent and he's not going to want to do that so, but it does give you the leverage, at least, to negotiate down to, uh, you know, what your commission would have been w without losing it. So keep that in your in your back pocket as a um, as a counter for this, because I think we're going to be seeing more and more of it as as the market, you know, continues to contract. You know, the other thing you can do is to increase your your counter offer and say, okay, well, we're we're willing to do this, but I'm not, you know, here's my bottom line, and we're going to counter up to this level and agree to pay the the, the greedy uh, agent his money. Um, you know, the one problem with dealing with these sleazy agents is that if you try to uh, eliminate that paragraph completely, he may blow the deal for you. And I know that our agents would never do that because, you know, you, you can't put your interest above the interest of your clients. But if this uh, sleazy agent is sleazy enough to uh, ask for that in the first place, there's a good chance that, you know, they may blow the deal. So you need to counter with it uh, a little bit more effectively than just scratching it out and, and making it go away. So hopefully I've given you a couple of um, you know, thoughts on, on how to counter that. But the bottom line here is, um, you know, yeah, we all need more money. This is not a fun market to be in, but I encourage all agents to earn money the old fashioned way. You know, actually earn it.